we have US dollar index here starting the week with this bearish candle we can see that the price has gone down trying to make a breakout and the first day had the prices closed below the great support and then the next candle did, con did not confirm this breakout to the downside as a valid one but the price continued to move up and made, uh, made a breakout to the upside with this great bullish engulfing candle. This was also a signal for me that the price could make, uh, could not, could make and continue to move up but after this breakout has happened, the next candle did not confirm this breakout as a valid one. We can see here the price was turned back down inside. The price did not continue to move up and also we can see what has happened on the Thursday. The price has made also a gap, which means something has happened on the market and then the price continued to fall down. We can see that the price on the Thursday could not make a breakout again to the, to the downside and then the price continued to fall down on the Friday. This strong bearish candle is suggesting that something has happened on the market, which is not usually because very important uh, support and also demand zone has been broken easily. We can see it on Friday. This is a strong breakout to the downside, which means a great selling pressure has entered into the market. On the weekly time frame, we can see after the price could not make a breakout to the downside outside of the, this range area to the upside or the uh, downside. This has happened on the weekly where the price has gone uh, down and made a breakout. So a strong bearish momentum has entered. We can see that the price did not stop around 105.50, very important support level. If you go to the monthly time frame, we will see what has happened. The previous month has ended as a bullish one and this month has ended, started with this strong bearish momentum where the price has pushed it even more down where the next support level is here around 104.21 very important level also for the price was here which is 106.13 and also this one here 105.50 the next one is also this one here, 10500, where the price has just stopped. On the weekly time, on the monthly time frame, we have three, four more weeks until this month ends, so everything can happen on the market. The price also could reverse back up and continue to be a bullish one, also continuing this bullish momentum on the monthly time frame. But to have a better picture, we need to go to the weekly and also daily time frame because this monthly time frame doesn't show shows to uh, shows me too much what is uh, happening on the market and also what could happen but very important level for the price is this one here which is 104.18 also we can round it around 10400 very important level now let's go to the weekly time frame and see how this looks we can see that 104 is also very important level on the weekly time frame and we can see this is much more 104.20 very important level on the weekly time frame the price has gone down and it's just starting to move even more down where the price is just in between this price level 105.50 and also this one 104.20 so this means the price needs to find a support or resistance in order to uh, continue its move because of this strong bearish momentum, I would also like to see the price return back up, confirm this breakout as a valid one on the weekly time frame, which, suggest, which could suggest that the price will continue to fall down. But also it can happen after this bearish uh, breakout to the downside. The next week ends up here, returning back inside, making this bearish, moment, bearish breakout as a false one. This could also happen. So in this case, after this breakout has happened, I need to see a validation of this breakout to the downside in order to confirm that I, I'm seeing the price from, uh, I'm seeing the price continuing to fall even more down. And for that confirmation, I need to see what happens on the daily time frame. This confirmation, take a look here. After the price has made a breakout to the downside of this area, which is 1.06, let's round it here. 1.0106 is area here. Here it is. This is the breakout that has happened. The price did not reverse back up, confirming this one. But this is the first breakout. The second one is here on the daily time frame. So if the price returns back up, confirming this area here as a valid uh, supply zone, now acting as a resistance, so we can see it here. And then price 
closes down on the Monday, this will mean that the breakout of this on the weekly time frame has been confirmed with this candle here, and there is a possibility that the price will continue to fall down. This is something that we have five days in the next week to confirm this bearish breakout as a valid one. But if the price goes back inside, this will mean this is uh, on a Monday, this will mean that this bearish breakout has been false one and the price will try to make a push to the higher price level and confirming this breakout as a valid one on the weekly time frame. So we have multi time frame analysis that needs to be confirmed in order to validate any or any of the direction. First one is on the daily time frame, but we have also a higher goal on the weekly time frame to confirm this breakout to the downside. As it looks right now, now I'm waiting until the price makes a reverse, here confirming the previous support now acting as a resistance here, this supply zone, in order to push the, the, the price down even more. The lower level, where the very important level is, is this one, 104.20, which is also a weekly time frame, a great support. And we can see it's very important. On the daily time frame, uh, the First level is this one, 104.50, and then below that is 104.20. So these are very critical levels, and the, on the upper side is the very important level is 105.50. We will see what happens next week. For now, it's very important to validate the breakout to the downside in order to continue to fall even more down. That is all from today's analysis. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any question, feel free to leave a comment. If you like the analysis, click the like button and subscribe. See you next time and a happy trading!